Martin Murray versus George Groves is going to try and do a keys to victory style video and a prediction both in one here. Uh, and it's a fight I like, it's a fight I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. Uh, there's every potential that this is going to be the most competitive fight on the card tomorrow. And as a result, every potential it could be the fight of the night. Uh, George Groves, how are you George Groves? Very exciting fighter, very very good fighter. One of the best jabs in British boxing and some truly tremendous attributes. Against lower level opposition, like we've seen him in his last two fights, George Groves looks spectacular. He's got the power, he's got the speed, he's got the technical ability, he's got the jab. As you see him step up to world level, uh, cracks start to emerge. For me, the biggest concern with George Groves is his stamina. I've long believed that's related to him cutting too much weight. At the elite, elite level, you also have to question whether there's one or two defensive frailties, whether there's one or two durability frailties in terms of punch resistance. Um, but George Groves is a guy who takes care of business at the sort of English-European level, British-European level with, with in style. Martin Murray is a fighter I view differently. Martin Murray is a fighter who, at times, you think could bore a glass eye to sleep. Martin Murray, in an eight-rounder, on an undercard, against an unknown opponent is not an interesting fighter to watch. You know, he smothers his work um, and he, for me, struggles at the sort of eight rounder level. You know, he struggles to really assert his domination. However, as he steps up to world class level, he seems to bring out a different gear to his game. And it's very unfortunate that every time he has stepped up to world class level, he's lost. Because Martin Murray's best performances and the best examples of his skill has come in losing efforts, which is unfortunate. But for me, Martin Murray is a different fighter when in a top-class fight to when he's in an eight-rounder. Whereas George Groves looks superb in an undercard fight and maybe struggles slightly at main event type level um, when he's fighting the bigger names. Um, Murray... You know, obviously at middleweight, a large proportion of his um, game was having a size advantage. He was bigger, stronger, tougher than most of the other middleweights out there. And on this fight, he's going to be the substantially smaller man. You know, George Groves really is a massive super middleweight. And, you know, you could see he's a bigger man. He's a taller man. He's a stronger built man than Martin Murray. So that size advantage Martin Murray has been able to enjoy in the past most certainly will not be in place in this fight. Um, you know, when the fight was announced, I was looking forward to it. But if I'm honest, my initial instinct uh, was that this was a definite win for George Groves. Uh, Murray, I viewed as tough, likeable, durable, strong, but lacking the offensive capabilities of George Groves. And to an extent, I still believe that. You know, put simply, Martin Murray, I don't believe, is going to be able to outbox George Groves from the outside. I believe George Groves is too smart. I believe his jab and his long range game is simply too good. I don't believe Martin Murray is going to be able to outbox George Groves long. I also don't believe Martin Murray has the power of George Groves. Or also that he's got enough power to really stop George Groves. I mean, Martin Murray for me is a, a light puncher in terms of world class fighting. Uh, you know, if you look at other guys at the level of Martin Murray, he is a light puncher in that standard. So... I kind of wonder, and that's my biggest concern about Murray going into this fight, is how is he going to do enough to even knock George Groves out or to win seven of the 12 rounds? And that's my question, because George Groves is an explosive puncher. He's a hard puncher. He carries power, underrated power in my opinion. Uh, he lands very eye-catching punches. His jab is, as I say, it's, it's really world-class. So... For me, the sensible money in this fight is George Groves, probably. Just because I believe he's going to land a more eye-catching work and he's going to be more dominant in terms of winning the rounds and, and going through the motions in that sense. Um, I don't believe Groves will necessarily stop Murray. I think Murray is very durable. Um, and as I've already mentioned, I don't think Murray has the power to stop Groves. So I see this going 12. I really do. And... It's just hard for me to picture Martin Murray winning 7 of the 12 rounds. I just think he's going to be out-jabbed. I think Groves is going to look like the more complete fighter offensively. And I think whilst Martin Murray will maybe perform with credit and maybe make George Groves look pretty imperfect at times during the fight, is he going to do enough to win those 7 rounds? And I'm not 100% sure I see it. You know, If I was advising Martin Murray on how to take make this fight and how to 
to um, approach it. And as always, I would acknowledge the people who are actually advising Martin Murray are clearly much more knowledgeable about it than I am. But just to throw my two pence into the ring, I would say Murray's best chance in this fight is almost to adopt a kind of pressure fighter approach. And that may seem counterproductive to some, because it may be viewed that Martin Murray is a better boxer from the outside than he is pressuring you. But what I would say is, whilst Martin Murray may be a better outside fighter than a pressure fighter, he's just not good enough on the outside to beat George Groves, I don't believe. His jab isn't good enough. He's not fast enough. He doesn't hit hard enough. His work isn't eye-catching enough. Where I believe Groves' main weakness is, and this is particularly prevalent as he gets older, and, you know, cutting the weight becomes harder and harder and harder, is stamina. And George Groves, as we've heard many times leading up to this fight, is very good at dictating the pace of a fight. You know, he, he likes to find his reins, he likes to use that jab, he likes to stick it out again and again and again, and bust an opponent up, and, you know, really work behind that jab, and, and control the pace of the fight. What Murray needs to do for me is take that away from George Groves. You know, take away him controlling the pace. Take away him landing the jab. And try and close down that distance. Try and get inside. Try and sit on his chest. The most important thing when you're fighting a guy with low stamina, the most important thing when you're fighting a guy who uh, is cutting a lot of weight, for me, is to give yourself the chance to wear him down. And a good example of that could be Anthony Crawler versus Ismail Barroso. You know, I'm not saying Crawler was necessarily destroying Barroso on the inside for, for the early rounds, because anyone who watched the fight knows that clearly wasn't the case. But what Crawler was doing with his movement was making Barroso work every second of every minute of every round. And for me, that's very much the approach that Murray needs to adopt here. Um, you know, any bodywork he can bank early on George Groves will be much, much benefit, you know. Bank that bodywork, because that will, something you can cash in later on in the fight, potentially. Uh, you know, and, and, and really, for me, if George Groves is faced with Martin Murray, you know, a foot away from him, he's not going to be able to pump that jab. And his response to not being able to pump that jab is going to be having to show back foot movement, you know, that sort of circling back foot movement to create the space. And if Martin Murray keeps him, you know, presses him, cuts down the ring on him, I'm not saying Martin Murray's necessarily going to win the rounds doing that. What he is going to do is, um, you know, really, really wear down George Groves. And whilst I don't think that Martin Murray necessarily has the power to knock George Groves out in the classic sense of the word, let's not forget how Carl Frotz was able to secure his stoppage in the first Frotz Groves fight. And I mean, is there a chance that George Groves could have a, a similar collapse in a fight, you know, which he was well ahead and seemed to be out on his feet. And I know people think Howard Foster called the fight off too early. And from my opinion, he did. But I think that fight was heading in the direction of a fraught stoppage anyway, if it had gone on for another round. And, you know, could Martin Murray wear George Groves out, wear him down to the point where he could sweep the late rounds? Or, you know, could he run him down to the point where maybe the ref could wave it off because Groves is so out on his feet, you know, potentially, potentially. And I actually think there's a higher chance of Murray having success with that game plan than there is of Martin Murray trying to uh, flick out the jab from long range and try and avoid George Groves' jab. So, you know, in terms of keys to victory for both guys, my simple thoughts are, George, you're the bigger man, you're the better boxer from range, go out, establish your jab, work behind it and break him down. Murray... You've got to go out there and negate what Groves has. Because if you just do what you normally do in a fight, my betting is you're going to lose. So I think Murray needs to close the gap. He needs to put the pressure on. He needs to make George Groves work. And his best chance of winning the fight is by really, really wearing down uh, um, Groves' stamina. Uh, so that's my keys to victory, if you like. On balance, I'm going to predict George Groves. Uh, I think Murray will... Try and box with Groves for a period of time. I think Groves will establish an early lead. As I've said, I think he's got the more offensive capabilities. I think he's the more eye-catching fighter, harder puncher. And I just think Martin Murray may lack the offensive snap. You know, he may lack the punch that steals around. He may lack the punch that, you know, can change the course of the fight because he's wobbled his opponent. And I think that potentially is going to be the difference maker in this fight. And I think while Groves won't look good doing it, whilst Murray may ask questions of him at certain times, I predict that George Groves wins the fight in a close but definite win. 
seven five eight four something like that let me know your thoughts if you've enjoyed this hit the thumbs up button if you're new to the channel please do subscribe thanks for watching